welcome to this AJT Mandala Artist uh, video. Um, I am a plattery videos on YouTube or you can find me on Instagram at Artistry and Craft. Short video on something that is just beginning um, to become more popular. It's the Artist Trading Coins, the ATC Coins or AT Coins. Uh, I've got a selection of those that I've painted in front of me. Um, they're pretty straightforward to do, pretty simple, a couple of things that you need for them. So, ATC coins are very much like the ATC card, this is what you're used to seeing, blank ATC card. You paint on these and they can then be traded for other ATC cards, or if it's an ACO card, um, the Artist Editions, Collectors and Originals, they are frequently actually sold or traded um, on eBay and Etsy. Uh, these can go for quite a bit of money depending on who painted them and what they are. So that's just a blank ATC card there. ATC coins, a little different. Um, you can see I've got a whole variety of colours here that I've cut. ATC cards and ATC coins. Okay, so my coins you can see are round I store my blanks in a box so that when I'm ready to paint them I just pick out the colour that I want to use. Um, right ATC coin they are two and a half inches in diameter so the same width as an ATC card use diameter for an ATC coin so whatever you use that way you then have an ATC coin that is the same in terms of diameter as a width of an ATC card. So straightforward. How do you make them? Well a couple of ways to make them. Um, one is a circle cutter. Uh, this is how I started. started making them with a circle cutter. You set it to the size that you want so six and a half in terms of your diameter so you set a diameter at six and a half and then you it's very much like a compass you put it down using the point and then this side cuts the paper for you. A um, bit time consuming, get a hole in the middle and I then realised or thought to myself I've got an easier way of doing this. I personally have a silhouette portrait so I then made a template on my silhouette portrait in order to cut the ATC coins. I'll zoom in on each one individually in a bit to just show you. Um, frequently they have on the back, like on an artist trading card, who made it, what it is, and all the additional information. Personally, I still use the um, what I use on my ATC cards. There you go, a little certificate of authenticity that goes with each one. I put that in with my ATC coins, so you can actually see, and I have a variety of different designs that I use on those. The little plastic wallet there is also what I store them in. So I have a couple there, little soft sleeves. Um, this is what I personally bought. Soft sleeve card, they are for trading cards and they fit both ATC cards and AT coins, or ATC coins perfectly. Literally just kind of drop them in. There you go, fits my ATC card perfectly. And if I take an AT see coin again perfect little fit okay stores them keeps them clean and when you're then posting them on you can do so using these so i'm going to zoom in a bit so i can show each of these designs that i've done so you just have to excuse the zoom and i'll move each one one at a time into the view of the camera so initially um i've got a black ATC coin there, uh, made with a combination of metallic and matte paints um, using both the styluses which I have shown you in a earlier video so there's my styluses and the transfer punches, um, one of the smaller ones but I remember they go up pretty big and there's a video on how to use those as well. So I've got a black one, that's that one. I then went a little bit more complicated and did that one so quite a bit of dot walking um some really quite shiny colors on this one some metallics that i, I sourced in the uk um also did another one both of those very complicated very small 
I then wanted to see what the effect was of different types of card. So I tried the craft recycled card and there's that on the craft recycled card. Just going to zoom out a little bit because I want to put two alongside each other. So craft recycled card. Got another on craft recycled card again. So if I wish those next to each other, you can see different designs using similar colours but very different overall effect by changing different things on them. Um, and then I did two on two different types of pink cardstock. And you can see that the two different pink cardstocks give a very, very different effect. Identical paint, no difference. I use the same paints on both. Um, mainly gloss paint, a tiny bit of matte, tiny bit of metallic. Gloss paint gave me a really unusual effect, really enjoying that. But absolutely identical paints. I literally I painted one and then I go along and paint the other and I go backs and forwards between the two of them. Um, differences are obviously the design is different so you can see what a different design is going to do by having two very different designs on them. One with more dot walking, one with more of these kind of um, half dot walking where the coin kind of more appears to spin a little bit. It's got a little bit more movement to it. Two different colours of cardstock. One is a very pastel pink, one is a darker pink. Um, this is on a blue background with a white kind of strip at the top, so if you want to look at the colours, that's what you're seeing. But you can see now the effect that different coloured card or cardstock has on your design. So do take that into account, or a different colour background if you're painting on stones, what that's going to do to what you are painting. Uh, has a very different effect but considering that you've got two identical sets of paints there and also think about what kind of card you're going to be painting on so you can see two different types of card two very different effects so if I zoom back out again and I'll put all of those different designs so you can see them so we've got the two on cardstock recycle card the black card and then the two very small and tight designs on black card as well so all very different all done in the same way exactly the same way as any other mandala exactly the same as any other atc card um there we go thing that's up and coming as i said they are six 65 millimeters or six and a half centimeters in diameter same diameter as the width of an atc card um really love them they really lend themselves to mandala painting really enjoy making them and i think i'm going to be making these for quite some time because they really fit with my style anyway if you want to know more please do give me a shout but there you go there we are my atc or atc coins as they are called just whiz them there so you can see them in a little bit more detail have to excuse me moving things around I still haven't totally got the hang of this videoing thing still freaking me out here myself um but there we are AT coins ATC coins uh do please apologize uh, for any of the blippy noises I did have my computer on and I did have a Facebook message um but then again you've probably found me on Facebook so you'll know that that's where I hang out uh, so thanks very much for watching really hope you've enjoyed this video um if there's any more that you need to know or anything else you want to find out about these do ping me a message really love to hear from you so thanks very much and i'll see you all soon Bye bye